Good evening. This is Annie Harrison with your 5 o'clock information update. In national news regarding the Malaysia flight, the U.S. Navy is sending another search plane carrying sophisticated instruments to the Indian Ocean. The P-8A Poseidon carries instrumentation designed to search for targets on or underwater. Satellite images now show as many as 300 objects in the water, which may be debris from the missing Malaysia Airlines flight MH370. In local news, Hoosiers are seeing a rise in food prices. Purdue University ag agricultural economist Dr. Chris Hurt says drought in California and Texas, along with the improving economy, are mainly to blame. Figures show beef prices are up 5.4% over this time last year. Pork is up 4%, milk prices are up 2.6%, tomato prices took a 7% jump, and feed prices are up along with the overall restaurant prices, which are up about 2%. Hurt, Hurt says the best bet for consumers is to seek out substitutes. Governor Pence says the creation of Indiana's first state-funded preschool program will bring long-term benefits to some of Indiana's most vulnerable children. Pence visited an Indianapolis daycare center to sign into the law Bill sign into law the bill creating a five-county preschool pilot program. The Family and Social, Social Services Administration will select a mix of urban, suburban, and rural counties. Pence says Indiana is the last Midwestern state to take a step towards state-funded preschool. He predicts making preschool accessible to low-income families will help them do better in school and reduce dropout and prison rates. It's a big weekend for Indianapolis, which has the Department of Public Safety spinning a lot of plates. Director Troy Riggs says traffic during the NCAA men's basketball tournament could keep Indy's streets very busy. Starting today, Riggs says he also has teams working with security to make sure the events are safe. Apart from the basketball tournament, Riggs says it's also spring break for a lot of kids, so we will have to focus on security and traffic efforts in Broad Ripple as well as downtown. Riggs says anytime there are large groups of people, there will be others who want to take advantage of them, and it's his job to try to prevent that. In sports news, after an emotional victory over Miami on Wednesday, the Pacers are back to work tonight. They will face the Washington Wizards. The Pacers have already clinched the Central Division and still hold the top spot in the East. The women's NCAA tournament continues on Saturday, where the number one seed Notre Dame Fighting Irish will play number five Oklahoma State. If the Irish were to win, they will play the winner of the number three Kentucky and the number two Baylor. This has been Annie Harrison with the number one high school newscast in the state, signing off for CHTV.